a great turnout. There's so much diversity here represented. This is beautiful. It's gorge. Um, I use a lot of times, you know, I like to just like to sort of like live. I have like a performance background. And so every once in a while I'll be like, isn't that gorge? Can everybody say, say it with me? Isn't that gorge? Just feel it, right? And I'm also openly trans. Um, and so I often just say that I'm feeling it. Like I'm just, oh, I'm just like feeling it. Just like feeling my trans. And I'm certainly feeling my trans tonight. So. So this is Q-Hub. This is an intergenerational conversation. Um, this is just so beautiful. It's being bad. I don't like that. So this is the second Q-Hub of the summer. This is like so beautiful. This is legendary. We have some legendary people in the house, uh, community activists, people doing some good work. Uh, there's some legends in the house tonight, and I'm one I'm a person who lives for something that's legendary. Does anybody live for something that's legendary? Yeah. Some Paris is burning, right? Some RuPaul's Drag Race. Do you guys watch RuPaul's Drag Race? I don't think you guys watch RuPaul's Drag Race because RuPaul's Drag Race fans are crazy. They will go crazy if their girl doesn't win. Who's your favorite RuPaul's Drag Race girl? Juju B, I would like Juju B. Tyra Sanchez. America's sweetheart, who else? Alaska. Hi! Oh, Yara Sophia, the beautiful Yara Sophia. Couture diva, right? We love her. Paseo Bariqua, right? Who else? Who? Angina, oh, Angina Sophia is so tiny, so diva. I love Angina. And oh my God, if, when you rock that fierce bald head, work, right? Can we get snaps for that? I see you. We get you snaps. And you guys, so if you're like really living for something tonight, I like a lot of like audience participation. So if you are like really living for something and you're just like really feeling it, like I told you I was feeling my trance, can you just be like, just like snap it out. And not only can, um, do I like snapping it out, I like to tell the youth like, so if I'm doing group, can I get a yes, yes, yes. Do you guys ever do that? Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was fierce, yes. So, um, oh yeah, can I get one more? Like, yes. Yeah. Work. So, tonight Project Vita is putting this on. For 21 years, Project Vita has been a culturally focused HIV AIDS prevention and direct service community-based organization here in Little Village. That's like awesome, can we give it up for that? <laughs> 21 years, that's legacy, right? HIV prevention for 21 years, that's saving a lot of lives, right? Let's snap that out. Snap that out. <laughs> And we like services, right? So I'm uh, um, HIV testing, know thy status, right? I don't tell my young people to know your status, I say know thy status, because I'm a preacher. So remember to know thy status, okay? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. I got you, you feel it, right? These are my claws, do you like my claws? They're diva. Oh, fabulosa. Preciosa. You can call me Preciosa. Beja? What does that mean? Oh, Beja. Oh, I love that. Oh, Beja. I live. That's sticky. Okay. So tonight's program is going to consist of a spectacular, spectacular little fabulosity. There will be a spoken word section, and there will be two very special guests tonight. Give it up for Ginger Valdez is in the house tonight. <laughs> yes. 
Give it up for Julio Rodriguez in the house tonight. And these are some legends who paved the way so that we can sit here tonight, right? Yeah. So we can sit and live and so that we can continue doing the work, right? We need to snap on, right? Sometimes, you guys, I get really passionate about this. Sometimes it's really important for the younger generation for us to look back, right? And we honor the people who came before us, right? Has anyone ever seen How to Survive a Plague? Who's seen How to Survive a Plague? Oh my God, everyone in this room should see How to Survive a Plague. It talks about the early days of HIV and AIDS and the preventative efforts that many people took so that we could sit here today, right? So that projects could be funded, so that we could have adequate health care, so that there could be medicine for people who have HIV, and so that our community would stop dying, right? Yeah. Let me tell you, those people were knocking down the doors of the FDA building. It was sickening. I like, everyone needs to see that. I left that, that documentary like forever changed and forever grateful because that money that we sit here today is because of that. It's what funds the work so that we can continue, right? So let's like, yes, for that, okay? That's sickening. Is everybody getting HIV tested? Everybody testing? Okay, sickening. I love it. Okay. Um, I think this, uh, that was a sign from the universe to like, girl, keep, 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 keep moving on. Um, I really want to thank Emmanuel so much for having me um, here tonight. I'm so blessed to be here and to be in another part of the city and to build community with all of you. It's just, it's like so exciting. We need to do more of this, right? I see so many beautiful, like, intergenerational faces, races, uh, sexual orientations, gender identities. This is absolutely gorge. I'm living. It's sickening. Okay? Okay. Um, and Emmanuel would like to thank our sponsors. So welcome back, Emmanuel, okay?